Welcome to Chelonia Crafts. In today's video, I'd like to talk about fire making, and in particular, the way that my own technique has evolved over the last five years of living off grid in the north of Sweden. I make fire almost every single day, and of course, just like any other skill, practice makes perfect which is why it's so important to make sure you're practicing the right things. Here you can see me making a couple of little birch curls or feather sticks using my favorite knife, which gives me the perfect opportunity to quickly plug my website, chiloniacrafts.com, where everything is made to order and comes with a lifetime guarantee. Now it doesn't really matter what your preferred technique is for getting the ember, whether it's friction or using a flint and steel like I do in this video. What's really important is learning how to get that ember strong enough to turn into a flame. And for me, the answer is always char cloth. It takes a spark well and it can get really, really hot. If you're just starting out, it might be wise to start by using a ferro rod because it takes a lot of the frustration out of getting that first spark. Now the important thing with using char material is not to panic. It's not going to burst into flames the moment it takes a spark, and you're not going to lose your whole supply if you take a good sized chunk to get your fire going. Take as much as you need. After all, that's where the heat comes from, and if you can get a fire going, you can always make more charred material. So here you can see my good strong char ember being gently cradled by two little curls of birch. A couple of good steady breaths of air and the whole thing bursts into flames with hardly any effort or smoke. Saving all of my energy for other bushcraft activities. Some of which you could indulge at our course venue. Come and visit at chiloniacrafts.com. <laughs> 